77th and big fat tires on the Clean as virgin. here so I'll walk around some of these the best I can. Got the nice riddlers, riddler wheels on there. Got the wood interior. Very nice, very nice. Hey, okay, it's parked next to an AMX. You don't see a whole lot of it. Looks like he went all original kind of on this one. What a beautiful car. Patina. Another one of these over here. Let's see the way. Check out some of the cars under here. Nice Nova. Nice Monte Carlo SS. So I can't see much going on to be all up on everybody's stuff. Get y'all some better views when I can. But otherwise, we'll just do a quick walk by. I can't zoom out today. Normally I can zoom out. Check out this color. This color is sweet. I want to see this in the sun. Right here. Let's take a look at that color.
nice square bodies. There's some you don't see every day. <laughs> A wagon you can actually drive. I had to get that. That's not something I'll, I'll probably ever run across again. <laughs> unless I see it up here. Unless he's local. I, don't, I haven't seen it before. Man, look at this panel van. Oof. Man, that's a nice color. It's green. give me one of those man been thinking about that being my first oldie but i kind of want something big where you know i could take more than one person with me if i need to very clean third gen early 80s model Hey man, there's cars everywhere. So we're gonna come over here and take a look at my absolute favorite car. Or top two. I don't know if it's my favorite. It's either this, it's a 66 Impala, or a 70 Cutlass 442. I love me a 66 Impala. SS. The rally wheels, black interior to kind of match that maroonish color. It's a very, very, very nice car. Park next to this nice Trans Am. I go around and get a shot of the front. Man, I remember people all had one of these. Man, my grandfather. Man, we. <laughs> We used to go everywhere in that car. Mm -hmm. Check out this Trans Am real quick. Very nice blue. It's got the big engine, 6.6. A nice blue cloth. Plastic in there. Cool car. Bird on the hood. Check this out. I used to have one of these Fleetwoods. Same style, same year. Mine didn't have the big wheels on it. But someone had broke into it and they peeled my steering column. And I had to start the car with a fork. I bought it like that. I never fixed the steering column. And I drove it until the, uh, until the head gasket blew up on it. You know, it already had tons of miles on it i got it from somebody else you know but i got my money's worth out of it i think i paid 500 dollars for that car all right ladies and gentlemen you see them you hear them you feel them the post street cars are making their way to the ground check them out here they come passing poker tire passing air block passing optima passing goldie let's show this advance passing PPG. Cool, cool car. Old Dodge van. Cool color. Nice cool rear end.
meter. Very, very, very clean Bel Air. Like I said, man, there's cars everywhere. I'm going to be out here tomorrow. I don't know if I want to... I'm going to get here when it first opens, but I don't know if I'll get here early enough to get under one of these because it's possible that it might rain tomorrow. So this might be the move. I like to park by the autocross. But, uh... Plus, my car looks better in the sun. You know what I mean? Um, my It looks black until you get it in the sun. <coughs> That's when the blue, you know flips on you what is this Oldsmobile I wasn't even paying attention I'm an Oldsmobile man it's an old Oldsmobile 98 clean white white wheels it doesn't have his registration on it so I'm not sure what year it is Probably like a 65 ish. There's a lot of these clean, clean third gens up there today. They got the shuttle. If you're lazy like me, or if you just got to walk a long way. I should run them down and try hop on there, but I'm about to go get me a perch sandwich. You feel me? Ooh, cutty. Cutty, cutty. I don't want to stop to look at a cutty. I just need me an old car. In the worst way. If it's gonna rain tomorrow, maybe I'll start out under here and then I'll move or something. So, like I said, man, just coming through and getting some quick walk bys of the cars. Tomorrow, I'm only up here for like a couple hours a day. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be up here for like eight hours, six hours, seven. I don't know what time. I think the show's from eight to three tomorrow. I'm gonna be up here the whole time. So. There won't be as many cars, and there'll be newer cars, because tomorrow you can bring in, uh, it's all American Sunday, so you can bring in any American-made or American-powered car, so you could have like a, you know how they do LS swaps on, uh, you know, some of the Japanese sports cars, you know, you can bring those in here tomorrow, but there, there's always less cars on Sunday, a lot of people got to get back on the road home um so there's always less but still should be a good showing and i'll make sure to get more in depth tomorrow i do want to get this hearst hearst cutty right here this is probably number three on my list although i will take one as a cruiser for sure most of them you see are silver Stuff. I like to put the Hearst wheels on there. The fun part about this car are those lightning rod shifters that you see there. You won't see them on pretty much anything else. That I know of anyway. I could be wrong. But 